we just talk? Can we just talk? Thank you for tuning in. It's your girl DJ here back in the cup once again. Y'all read the title. We are going to review Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is season 12, episode 7. Well, he doesn't live here, so. Well, he's going to be here more often. So we start the episode off with Miss Cynthia, baby. Miss Cynthia says she's gonna get married, honey. She has not been proposed to, but she knows it's coming, so she's getting that closet ready. Y'all know she's renovating the closet to make room for Mike, even though he hasn't officially proposed, but we did see the trailer for next week, and it looks like he proposed. So, hashtag chill has finally got what she wanted, honey. She is hashtag no longer dehydrated. So she's over there in the scene with Kenya. They started talking about uh, their long distance relationships. We know that's not working out well for Kenya. Y'all bless her heart. But Cynthia's issues is not so much about the man, you know, being controlling and just trying to take over her and stuff like that. No, her issues is trying to decide whether or not they're going to stay in Atlanta or go over to LA. <laughs> Later on, we see the fiance, Mike Hill. They go over and meet with Eva and her husband, Michael. We start talking about this recording. Y'all remember Nene said that somebody has recorded Cynthia saying some harsh things about her. They're trying to decide whether it was Giovanna that made the recording or if it was Marlo. They're really leaning towards Giovanna, it looks like. Eva asked her husband, she said, yo, I've been waiting to ask you this. So, I mean, is this okay legally for them? Like, are they breaking any laws by recording Cynthia without her knowledge? So he lets them know that it if the one if it was two people that you know were in the recording and the person that recorded was a part of the conversation perfectly legal because it's a one party state in Atlanta right but if it was someone else not a part of the conversation but recorded it that could be illegal so your girl Cynthia um, could be able to legally sue whoever it is that made that recording that's if the person wasn't a part of the conversation me personally I think it has to be somebody that was a part of the conversation that did it I'm nervous if you ever need us we here now we move over to Kayla and Candy. If you guys don't remember, Kayla is moving to New York because she wants to be able to put herself in a better situation to be successful when it comes to her fashion aspirations. Now Todd was not there because he was gone on a business trip. And so Candy says she has to be the one to take her. Now she tells us that her and Kayla have a really good relationship, but she makes sure to let us know that she does not try to play mom. She is stepmom. So she allows Todd to do what he needs to do as a father and to to, to you know make the decisions stuff like that if it's something crazy you know she got to step in and address but she does let us know that she has some uh concerns when it comes to his parenting as far as with the two small children that they have okay not that he's harming them or anything but only because she's like you know if you're like that with her, you could possibly be like that with Blaze. You know, when she comes up, that's the new baby. What about Ace? And I have to take these things into consideration when I, you know, sit back and, you know, watch you parent the way that you're parenting, okay? She did let us know that they hadn't spoke. Kayla and her dad hadn't spoken a week this time. She also talks to Corman, which is her best friend. <clears throat> talks to Corman about it. And, you know, she just basically vents to her about how he is. And Carmen is like, y'all keep having these kids. And, you know, y'all got to get it right with the ones that you have. But then Candy lets us know, look here, having more kids gives you the opportunity to eventually get it right. You are working on yourself. Right, right. Moving over to Nene, who is sitting with her spiritual coach, Tamara. And let's start by trying to help her find the part on that wig, honey. I said, now this girl got on national television and did not attempt to get a comb, get some something. What y'all do? How y'all wear? Because I don't wear wigs. But what y'all do to find the part up there? You need somebody to coach you on finding the part or coach you on putting on a wig, honey. But anyway, spiritually... Okay, she was helping your girl Nene out. Some people like to say, hell no, nah, she ain't help her out. Nene ain't learn. Get your money back, Nene, because she is not providing 
any good benefits to your lifestyle. But I beg to differ. You know, I really think that she's helping Nene. It's just sometimes we are human. It takes us, you know, a, a, something that will trigger us. We go off and then we got to bring it back. We got to reel it back in. So Nene did talk about the trip that she's invited to. She's a little bit nervous about going on that trip because she knows how in the past those trips is gone. So she's just a little bit um apprehensive of going okay but her life coach said i think you should talk to people before you go on you know people that you think you'd have an issue with and just say hey are we good hey are we good and i think that'll be a good idea however all it takes is that one thing for somebody to you know piss you off and then you everything that she done told you then went out the window one thing that i want to do is protect my assets for my daughter so Kenya goes to meet with a wealth and real estate lawyer, I believe. And she's talking to her because she really wants to secure her assets. She tells us she does not have a prenup. However, Mark has his own assets and she has hers. So she didn't feel like she needed to go in with one. But given the state of the current relationship, she really feels like she needs to have control over what happens after she dies. So she wants to make sure that Brooklyn gets everything okay and so that's what Kristen is gonna help her they're gonna come up with a plan now she gets real emotional in this meeting because she really thought that she found like the love of her life that she would not be going through these things and then here she is going through that so kenya says that she did not want to make mark the power of attorney and the producers and the confessionals that asked her why she said he'd have a hard time if it goes against what he really thinks you go so many years to find that person who is perfect for you and you want it to last forever, but it doesn't always go the way you expect it. Now, I believe that wholeheartedly, given the way that he's acting now, I know somebody that's going through a similar situation right now, her mom, you know, she passed away it was unexpectedly but before she passed she was supposed to go update the will because her daughter and her son was telling her look this man your husband when you pass he's not gonna give us the stuff you need to you know uh let us know who's getting what because he's not going to play fair when you go you know she ended up passing rest her soul but her husband did exactly what her daughter said that he would do, giving them an extreme hard time, okay? Not even allowing them to go get stuff, antiques and stuff that was there before he even came into the relationship. I mean, we are, you know, technically still engaged. But last but not least, honey, we're going to talk about Miss Portia pedaling through downtown Atlanta with Miss Marlo, who has grown on her. She actually liked Marlo, and she says that she loves the space that they're in now. We end up going to the hot dog factory. She hasn't been there in a very long time, you know, I guess in the last few months since she's been going through this with Dennis. Portia's like, I don't want to be seen. Marlo is like, can we call him? They end up FaceTiming him because Portia doesn't want um anybody else to let him know that she'd been there so she just wanted to be the first to say it um marlo ends up trying to get him to tell poor or portia to tell him that she loves him portia did not want to do that later on in the episode portia goes to a therapy session and she's sitting there talking to the therapist the therapist is like well what's going on you know give me an update on how everything is and then we see mr dennis walk in the building honey looking like a sad little puppy so he sits down and they get into a deep conversation. They start talking about him cheating and how Portia felt when he cheated, that she really wants to give her family another chance. But she feels like it would be fair for Pilar for her to do so. But she just really has to know that he's in this full, you know, completely wholeheartedly. And that um, he says, then she, they start talking about why he cheated. He says he made a mistake. She says, no, you didn't make a mistake. You intentionally did that. You intentionally were texting these women. Y'all intentionally did what y'all did, okay? She said, no, that's not a mistake. A mistake is making the wrong uh, turn. And then he said he was just, you know, he was just being stupid and he's sorry and it was the wrong thing to do and it was just a bad decision. And so they just... At that point, I guess we're, uh, we, we see their relationship coming back together. So then the therapist asked Dennis and Portia something along the lines of, what do you guys plan to do to get back on the same page and to try to make this work and to find love again? And then he was like, technically we're still engaged. Then what tripped me out is that when they leave, I hear her talking. I'm like, okay, maybe he on speakerphone because she was in the car by this time. And then the 
camera pans over and we see him in the car. Now, how the hell he get in the car? So, why did y'all come in at different times? Were y'all doing that just for the camera? Hell, I don't know. All right, y'all. That's all I have for y'all this week. Get into the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this video. And until next time, y'all. Bye. I'm ready to go. This tea is super hot. I'm about to rush. I'm back, back. Three feet, no pressure.